Happy Halloween, everyone! KHL regular season is about to go on a little break, but we still have a few games to talk about tonight. My name is Andrea Sachinka, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. Welcome to Vladivostok, where Admiral holds Kunlun Red Star. The season series between the two is tied at once since Admiral beat Kunlun 3-1 two nights ago. Kunlun opened up the score in a hurry. Just 40 seconds into the first chair round, makes himself available on the slot. He gets the puck from Sean Collins and sends it into the back of the net. Gets his fifth, and Kunlun lead 1-0. Admiral tied up late in the period. James White wins a faceoff on the offensive end, and Sergio Lin nets his first career KHL goal. 22 year old Ilyanko is a product of severe junior hockey school, but Admiral is the team he scores his first goal in the big league for. But just under a minute later, Kulun go on a power play, and it takes them just 8 seconds to capitalize on it. Tukta Mantilla shoots from the point as he is already falling down, and it goes in. Mantilla nets his peeps of the year, and Kulun are back in the lead. It's 2 1. Buck 23 later, Alec Yashin sends Damian Fleury on a partial breakaway, and he makes no mistake. He beats Ivan Nalimov for his fourth of the year, and Nalimov's night is done after that. He's replaced by Igor Babkov. Armino scores their second of the game late on regulation. James Wright buries the rebound for his fourth, but that's as close as they can get on this one. Kunlun holds on to the one goal lead and take it 3 2 on the road. We are now in Cherepovets, where Severstal hosts Medvishak. And home team starts just the way they want. Just under four minutes in, Daniil Bovshinka blows the roof of the building with this clapper. That's a seventh, and it's 1 0 Severstal. Less than two minutes later, Dmitry Kudrilisky taps it in for his 11th. Gorgeous pass and play, isn't it? Severstal lead 2 0 now. We head over to the second. Severstal on a power play again, and they score again. Alexander Yevsenko scores his second of the season to make it 3 0. A few minutes later, Ruslan Karlin buries the rebound for his second to make it 4 0. Full throttle, these guys are running away with that. Back 30 later, Denis Yzhov drives it in from the point to make it 5 0 Severstal. Game over, right? They even add insult to an injury. Mike Glumak wants to drop him, and he learns firsthand you gotta be careful what you wish for. Nikolai Kazakovsev gets a few good punches in, and Glumak goes down. That sets off a whole bunch of fighting all over the ice. Maybe Shakar upset with the way the game is going, clearly. It almost backfires on them, because late in the period, Misha Kogorlitsky and Pavel Chernov get in on a 2 on 1 rush, and they don't score. Wow, I did not see that coming. Six minutes into the third, Cole Beganoway finally puts Medvedchuk on the scoreboard. He nets his sixth from the slot. A few minutes later, Lucas Lesio scores another one. The puck was loose the whole time, and he capitalized on that. A few minutes later, Evan Herbert makes it 5 3. This looks like a comeback, doesn't it? Well, it's not going to be completed. Severstal scored two more goals and they go on to win it 7-3. And that's it for your LKHL update. Come back tomorrow though for the last game before the November break. Dynamo Riga will face Dynamo Minsk. My name is Andreas Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.